Welcome back to American Morning. Look at that beautiful shot of the space shuttle Atlantis ready to go. Uh, in less than two weeks, this space shuttle program will be history. Many critics, including former astronauts, are blasting the space agency for not having a new program ready to replace it. That conversation is going to start soon. Today, everybody is focused on this, on watching this get into space. Uh, we're going to have a decision probably in about 15 or 20 minutes as to whether it goes. That's the firing room. That's the, the room where the, the, the launch is going to be controlled from. I'm here now with NASA, uh, NASA's uh, Deputy Administrator Lori Garver. Lori, welcome. Thank you for being with us. Exciting day or sad day for you? Uh, well, it's an emotional day. Yeah. Uh, I have equated it to what, sending my son off to college a year ago. Right. You're a little sad. Right. Uh, but you know but that you're really proud. Right. And you're really hopeful for that they're uh, for the future. And we could not be prouder of this shuttle team. And across the country, people have been working for more than 30 years yeah. on this program to bring the United States these incredible benefits, just the last 30 of which have been launching the International right. Space Station, which is our future of human space. Now, planning. you don't have any lead information now. You think we're going to get an update in about 15 minutes as to whether it's a go or no go for today? At this point, we are planning to come out of the count at 731 good. to uh, get ready for today's launch. All right, good. We'll keep our fingers crossed for that. What do you make of the, the conversation? Uh, there's sort of two criticisms. I guess one has always existed about any money, any dollar spent in space. Why do we do this? But let's put that one aside for a second. What's the criticism now? What do you make of the criticism that we're ending this and we don't have something to go from the next launch? Pad. Well, this has been an issue really for us since uh, the beginning of the space program. It's very hard to have enough funding to develop a new program while you're still in the middle of one. Right. And what we have planned is a future that helps uh, be able to have a launch program that you aren't spending all of your money just on the transportation. What we do in space is learn from that environment, looking back at Earth, looking out into the universe. We are going to work with the private sector yep. in ways that, so that NASA can buy seats and not pay the billion dollars per launch, but pay for an astronaut seat to go to and space. And we're, we're, there seems to be, this, give me some clarity on, uh, has NASA decided it's going to buy seats on Soyuz or on private commercial planes or lease other people's vehicles? Well, to go into space? Well, we inherited a program that was already buying Soyuz uh, seats. Right. We, with our partners in Russia, have been doing that. The shuttle only stays on orbit for two weeks. Right. And we have astronauts full time on space station. We're going to continue that for the next couple of years until we have these commercial vehicles launching to and from, right. again, the Space Coast in Florida. I want you to just take a look at this. Uh, this was a letter that was sent, uh, sent out in, in May of this year from Neil Armstrong, Jim Lavelle, and, and uh, Gene Cernan. And it says, America's leadership in space is slipping. NASA's human spaceflight program is in substantial disarray with no clear-cut mission in the offing. Is that true? And if it's true, is it, is it a bad thing? Great American heroes really appreciate their contribution, it's just not true. Right. They just don't recognize what it is that we are doing for so the future what is of this it? For, program. For, for those of our Change viewers who are hard. not space geeks and maybe not following exactly what's going on, the, the simple question, what's the next big thing we're going to see from NASA? Uh, NASA is building, has built the space station. We are going to be seeing more and more research coming out of the space station right. as more and more astronauts go to and from space. NASA is part of the commercial crew program. There right. will be a NASA logo and an American flag on these vehicles just as uh, America flies airplanes. We right. have been launching satellites in this way on vehicles right here from the Cape and we buy the service to launch. Let me put it this way. What's the thing that's going to get the kids watching this launch today to say I want to be an astronaut? Well, I think a lot of things. Of course, the International Space Station, but also the fact that they can potentially go to space right. and that NASA in uh, the next a few years will be building those spacecraft to go beyond, again going beyond low Earth orbit, to an asteroid and on to Mars. That's been a goal. So that, since that's I grew okay. Up. So it's okay to keep saying that that we we we're going to get to an asteroid and we're going to get to Mars. Oh no question. Yeah. We are trying to reduce the cost of the operational part right. of the space program so that NASA can spend its valuable tax dollars right. on going further, pushing that envelope. We're an exploring species. NASA is so thrilled to be able to do this on behalf of the American public. Well, congratulations. We are keeping our fingers crossed that in the next few minutes we're going to get a go and not a no-go. If you have any influence in there, you know. But you know what? We got to keep it safe. There's a reason why you make those decisions. We're going to go, uh, if not today, uh, soon. That's right. All right, Lori Garver, thanks for being with us. Checking out our top stories, we should know within minutes now if weather will permit history to be made in just a few hours. NASA 
just tweeting the shuttle Atlantis will lift off as scheduled 1126 Eastern time on the final mission of the shuttle program. So just uh, seconds ago getting this tweet, after 30 years in space, this will be the final liftoff. We're live at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida to bring you the final launch of the space shuttle program. Here's what's ahead. By the way, behind me, you will hear a chopper that is tracking the van carrying the astronauts to the, uh, to the shuttle. It is fueled up and ready to make the final voyage of the 30-year-old shuttle program. These are live pictures. That is the van. Uh, that is carrying the final four, as we call them, the four astronauts who uh, will uh, get onto that uh, and the group that's, that's helping them launch. They are now headed to the launch pad, which is over my shoulder. Shuttle launch director Mike Leinbach has just told the team, quote, we do have a shot at this today, end quote. We do have a shot at this today. They are moving forward with an attempt to launch the rocket and the shuttle at 11.26 a.m. You can see the countdown clock over my shoulder. Two hours, T minus two hours and 44 minutes. Now, here's how it goes from here. About 20 minutes from now, the crew will be boarding Atlantis for that final history making launch. Let me show you some video of Commander Chris Ferguson. He's a uh, end pilot, Doug Hurley, mission specialist Sandra Magnus, and Rex Walheim. They suited up less than an hour ago. Then, in the last 10 minutes, we saw the Atlantis crew, the final four as we call them, begin to make their way over to launch pad 39, which is over my left shoulder, your right when you see me, at the Kennedy Space Center. And now, they are getting real close. In fact, that helicopter is just about over me right now. Coming up a little after 8 Eastern, there it goes. There's a helicopter. Means that these guys are just about here. The final four will walk up the launch pad. They'll board the space shuttle Atlantis for its final flight. Here's the convoy coming in right now. Take a look, the convoy passing behind the media center. You are about to see it, uh, there it goes, there's the convoy. With the, uh, this, this is all the media center. These are all of us. We're in this mix of satellite trucks and tents. They're driving by us right now. That's that chopper you just heard that's, uh, that's tracking them. They are headed, that's the chopper tracking them to launch pad 39, uh, where they are going to get on that, uh, that shuttle. And they're going to get ready. They're going to hope. And as uh, an astronaut who was just with me said, they're managing their expectations right now. They're getting excited. They're suited up. They know this is happening, but they, they don't want to be disappointed if it gets scrubbed because of the weather. Uh, the weather has been a little more cooperative. You look over there, it's still full of clouds, but there are little spots where you can see the sun. They need to be able to see that rocket go up. They need to be able to see that shuttle get uh, into space. Uh, look at the map right now. Uh, it's showing, as Chad said, some clear spots. Uh, there is a chance that this thing is going to happen. We're here to bring you all the excitement as history is made. Chad Myers is with me. John Zarella is down here. Carol Costello. Uh, Brooke Baldwin's here. Anderson Cooper uh, is uh, is going to take over at 10 o'clock for a special. Uh, we're, we're talking to the million people who are probably assembled around here. And we're speaking to the elite few who have flown on the shuttle itself over the course of the last 30 years. This is a special edition of American Morning, and we're coming back right after the break. We're just a few minutes away from a historic moment. The crew walking up to the launch pad. This is a, a live picture boarding Atlantis for the last uh, launch of the 30-year-old space shuttle program. An amazing day uh, for all of us out there yes. who've watched this shuttle program grow up and all the brainiacs who've been working behind it and behind the scenes for so many years. Uh, we're going to have it for you live next. It's 57 minutes after. Good morning, everybody. It's Friday, July 8th. And, you know, I kind of wonder if the people who are suiting up right now, the astronauts suiting up, if they can even dwell on how they're making history or if there's so much work to do and math. Right. And just <laughs> a lot of focus moving forward every step of the way. Um, it is exciting. Now, Ali is there live. He is from Case, uh, Kennedy Space Center in Florida, where, uh, gosh, they're getting ready to go. They're getting ready to move yeah. on out today. Hi, Belshi. In fact, let's let's take the picture right uh, right now. Uh, this is the, the, the white room, they call it. This is the commander, uh, Ferguson. He's getting final preparations, and he's going to get into the shuttle. That's the entry port into the space shuttle right behind him. So you are seeing the first person, the first of four, the final four, uh, getting ready. We'll come back to that in just a second. We're live right now at Kennedy Space Center in Florida, counting down the hours and the minutes until the last launch ever of the Space Shuttle Atlantis, 
Last launch ever of a space shuttle, the final voyage in the 30-year-old shuttle program. We're right on schedule. That's the countdown clock. I'm going to tell you about that in a moment, too, but I want to stay with this for a second. These are live pictures. Moments ago, the shuttle launch director says they are sticking to the launch time of 11.26 a.m. Eastern time. The launch crew went ahead with the three-hour process of fueling the shuttle overnight despite weather concerns. And last hour, the astronauts left their crew quarters for the launch pad. They were already suited up with the, the normal suit they were wearing. Now they're getting the final preparations uh, ready. Now that's what's happening right on the launch pad. Let me show, what, show you what's happening on the, uh, in the firing room. That is the room where they will uh, orchestrate this launch from. This is what you would think of as the, as the control room, mission control. This is where they are going to be doing that from. Now the crew, four people, not seven, four people will board the shuttle at 8.06 a.m. Eastern, just minutes from now. In fact, uh, the commander looks ready to board uh, momentarily. Then at 9.21, the hatch will close. At 11.21, the shuttle will power up. And if everything goes on schedule, at 11.26 and 46 seconds, Space Shuttle Atlantis will lift off for the last time in history. The one wild card all week has been the weather. There were close calls yesterday. There was lightning, severe, heavy rain, and heavy cloud cover. A strike near the shuttle had NASA engineers scrambling to find out whether there was any damage to the shuttle. Or Look at this. Look at this picture. You'll see the lightning strike in a second. Uh, they had to see whether there was damage to the electronic and electrical equipment, but the countdown didn't stop. Now, let me show you what the weather looks like here. There have been some blue skies. There's a little bit of sun behind me. There were doubts that the weather would hold out. Uh, in fact, chances of a scrub were and are still at 70%, but they get windows. They get these little five and 10 minute windows that could work. Chad Myers is live at the visitor center where many thousands are gathering to watch this. Uh, he's also, uh, he's watching what's going around him, but Chad's looking up uh, and getting a sense of whether this is gonna happen, Chad. You know, I had a look down a little bit ago, Ali. I could see my shadow, and there must be a joke somewhere. When, what happens when a weatherman sees a shadow? Uh, and the shadow came from the sun there, but that window that we had quickly closed up. So, yes, variable skies. And if we get a beautiful window, a nice clear area right around that 1126 to 1130 something, because they still have a couple of minutes leeway either way of that. Otherwise, the shuttle can't catch up to the International Space Station. It's just going too fast. That's why there's that one window in the first place we'd love to launch about a half an hour ago is beautiful but if you launched a half an hour ago the shuttle would be in the wrong spot the international space station will be in the other side of the world and the shuttle will be trying to catch it It'd be like giving jimmy johnson a five lap lead before he even start the race never catch up to the guy so that's it they would never be able to catch up to the iss if they launched right now we'll wait for it as the sun comes out that will warm the atmosphere that could burn some clouds off we're still hopeful here it's, uh, we've been looking at the radar. It doesn't look too bad right now. I'm still smiling about this for at least another half hour or so. As, as you said that, I felt sun uh, hitting uh, me right from behind me. And by the way, we're going to keep uh, looking at pictures uh, when we can get them of the crew suiting up uh, and getting, getting ready to get into the vessel. Now, the entire shuttle fleet, this is Atlantis, but the entire shuttle fleet, and these are live pictures, by the way, of the astronauts getting ready right yeah. over that uh, gentleman in the white, right over his shoulder. You see something that says Atlantis? That's the, that's the entry port into the, into the shuttle. Now, they have, they have flown over 500 miles collectively in its 30-year history, the whole shuttle program. Program. 